Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will learn how to perfect our swipe. We do this for a couple of reasons, uh, but mostly because I will be doing some tutorials that require you to sort of master the swipe. Let me explain how to combo our swipe from anything first, and then we're gonna learn to use the swipe to combo to anything. So when you wanna combo a move to anything, you need to be able to go to the highest point and to the lowest point and then get into the move with ease. So the highest point sort of a b-boy you can achieve is a one hand freeze. Uh, on probably on, on the same hand you start your swipe, uh, your flare with. So when you do that, it for me it's that the right handed freeze like this. Simple move like that, right? If I want to go even higher, I have to jump. That doesn't matter. It's still the same concept. Now, to go from the highest move, or you can just do handstand, this is almost even, evenly high, right? To go to the swipe, all I have to do is turn my body towards the roof like this. From here, I'll start from the front. I'll turn my body up towards the roof. Then I fall back to my feet and just place your feet on the floor first to understand this concept real quick. So from here, turn around, fall on the feet like that, see that? So actually, as you can see, that's actually the front of the swipe. So basically, when you're ever you're like in a combo, in a weird move, and you want to swipe, all you have to do is turn your, bo uh, your body up. And automatically, you sort of fall into the swipe. Now, because we fall into it, it's kind of hard to combo. So here's the little trick that we use. Is For me, it's this right foot. As I fall, I place my foot forward and try to keep it as straight as I possibly can. So no bending. By doing that, I'm very high in the swipe. And then you try to swipe on. That's also a key element. Don't think, okay, I'm going to land and stop and continue. It's a continuous movement, just like every power move. So once you land, you just jump on. So if you don't know how to go to swipe to hands and all that crap, don't worry so much about it. I'll explain in a second. So from the highest move, that's in this case that handstand or that one hand handstand, doesn't matter, I do a one hand freeze right now. i show you guys by turning and placing the foot forward, I can automatically fall into the swipe without any problem. So freeze, swipe, swipe, right? Extremely easy. So if you got a couple of swipes done, you want to come with from there, you can. But let's say I do another move, it doesn't matter whatever it is, it doesn't matter, every move counts, right? You, you can do air baby, you can do uh, air chair, it's still always the same. But when you are in these low moves, like for instance this little freeze right here, you have to push your hands out to go to the swipe. And then all you do is yet again turn your body towards the roof and place the foot and automatically you are in the swipe. Now the lowest I can get is actually laying flat on the floor like this. I cannot go lower than I have to go to the floor. So all I do is push out like I said, turn my body yet again to the roof and place this foot. And immediately as your foot plays, you jump into the swipe. So, uh, this is very low, right? Place. And swipe like that. So, uh, when you do this and you, and you dip your hip down, that's because you, when you place the foot, you're not, you're bending too much. You try to place the foot, you can bend it, but not too much. You want to be above with the hip and not dip. If, you, if your swipe is dip, try to really more extend that leg as you stand on it and bring it more to the front, right? But that's how you can go from any move, like doesn't matter, like headstand, anything. You just turn your body up and place the foot and then you're in the swipe. This is very handy uh, because let's say you fall, like I'm just gonna jump like this, oh, oh, oh swipe. <laughs> you just place the foot and swipe on. So basically, you will never really fall <laughs> as long as you can do this. Now I just cut swipe out of my, uh, I don't like to do swipes anymore because at some point it was so easy for me Everything I did was swipe, like right? I, I got like do some footwork, I don't know what to do, swipe, right? I did some power move, swipe, 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 right? I don't that, didn't like it, so I stopped doing it all together, so for me it's kind of harder than it was. But you sort of get used to this, and you don't mind doing the move like that, it's very good to do. It's also good to just have this down and you understand this concept, right? And of course practice a little bit on your swipe itself. So, we can go from any move, like let's say the turtle, just very low, and swipe like that, super easy, right? But how can we go from uh, swipe to any move? Well, it's really simple. If you want to go lower, it's actually way easier. So that's not really a problem there. It's just like your normal swipe. You just dip down. Let's say I want to go to the freeze. I just throw a swipe and dip to the freeze, right? Super easy. Uh, but if, let's say, I want to go higher, this is the thing we actually want to get. So normally, when you do swipe, you sort of use momentum and throw in a circle. But in this case, 
The trick is as I land this foot right here, and my body's turned right. I try to throw right with my arms. I just do this move right here, this one. See that? I'm on my feet. Jump, right? And as I jump, even if my legs are crunched in or whatever, I try to open it as if talking about the standard swipes, just like that, right? Once you get this down, you're gonna try it from a swipe. Now I'll do it in slow motion. Uh, and then, as you can see, I'm just, I'm not really focusing so much on speed and rotation, more or less jumping into a, uh, a slant of trees. But it's very easy. As I'm just standing, I jump. It's just a, uh, basically, I'm going on my foot, extend the leg, and instead of like relying on the throw of the arms, I rely on the jump towards this freeze. So when I do it slow motion like this, watch. See how I actually land in that freeze like that. It's just this move, like that. So that might seem very hard, but actually what you have to learn is that once your foot is placed, you're not throwing the hands, you're jumping towards the next move.